I've been using Find My Pass for a month now and I've decided to go for the fully paid annual membership. So I'm going to tell you everything I've learned about it along the way to help you decide if it's right for you. So let's get right into it now. First thing is it's really easy to get started. I thought our oh, Family Tree website could be complicated, confusing, but no, it makes things nice and simple. It's got a nice friendly user interface and in fact you can see it on the screenshot behind me and it helps you to get the ball rolling especially for what can seem like a really intimidating task when you start out like me with limited or perhaps very little information it does this by having things like suggestions and hints and you see the little orange icon with a hint they'll also email you about this if you have the setting on and it will start to try and find matches very handily it gives you a percentage for the confidence it thinks that it's found a match for the same person. So it orders all the matches it finds in the hints by that confidence rating. So it comes out with the ones it thinks it's most confident about at the top and you can work down from there. And I must say it's been very good. And it's actually been confirmed by having a look at my grandfather's photo album and all the names he's written on his photo album are people I never met, never knew, but they're coming out in Find My Past search results. So that's been really good. And so I found it to be very accurate as well because it pulls straight from all the official records. These have been transcribed, giving you a digital representation of that record. So it's easy to search and you can then view the records, which I really like because you learn more from even looking at the records as well on top of just looking at the bit of data that it's giving you. For instance, being in Wales, I've learned that my grandfather and his brother were actually Welsh speakers as young men, which I had no idea about. I thought the last person to speak the Welsh language in my family was his grandmother, but I was wrong. And that's been really great just from looking at those records and having them really easy to find and access. Another thing I really appreciate about Find My Past is the clarity of focus on the UK and Ireland. It does have quite a lot of records for the US, but it's really best for people who are looking for UK and Irish ancestors and perhaps as well Australian, New Zealand, Canadian ancestors. I don't think South African, unfortunately, but those main Anglophone countries, but specifically with ancestors originating from the UK and Ireland. And having that clarity there is great because again, being British with all the family that I know of coming from the British Isles, knowing that I've got the right platform is really good and I really appreciate it. So it's nice to have, and it's got so much detail about the UK and Ireland records. Another thing that's great about Find My Past is it's got image controls on those original archive records. So as I said, you can view them, but also it's got things you can do with them to help you read it. The main one being the negative filter it has where you can flip the colors to make it easier to see, but you can also zoom and flick through and do other things with them that are really helpful to get the most out of those archive records that just pop up effortlessly on your screen. So that's really great. It's also good that the support is really good for Find My Past and people do get back to you very quickly, which is much appreciated, especially when things get a little bit confusing. But the support has been top notch for me. I can't recommend it enough. You know, they take maybe a day, maybe two to get back to you. In my case, it's always been within 12 hours, but it's very good and high quality, which is exactly what you want when you're paying for a service like that. And also it's got a portable file format. Now it's a GED.com, I think it is the name of the family tree file, which is pretty standard, but that means that you can take it out, download it, export it, and then import it into any other platforms, which is really nice to have that feeling because you could take any you've got from Ancestry, put them up onto Find My Past, or equally take Find My Past ones and put them up onto Ancestry. So you're not bound to that one platform. It's not like that sort of Apple computer type paradigm where you're stuck in the system. It lets you port those records and those family trees you put together into another platform, which is great as well. Now, that's the stuff I've really enjoyed, but there are a few things that could be better about Find My Pass. So let me tell you what I found is a little bit frustrating, although I've still found it to be the best I've used. When you're looking at records for females in your family, the clarity around maiden names and how you store them is a bit confusing. When you add a female ancestor, it often comes up with the married name and then you'll work back and find the maiden name. However, it often wants to try and overwrite whichever name you're working with as the last one. Now, I've learned that you always want to have the maiden name because that makes it much easier for working with records of your female ancestors. But 
find my past can be a bit confusing and it makes you almost think you should overwrite the maiden name when you shouldn't. So always have that in mind. Keep the maiden name and never overwrite it because it will get a little bit confusing if you do. Simply having the marriage record confirmed will be enough to keep the record to your female ancestor's husband. Another thing about Find My Past is contacting members it is a little bit annoying because you can't see any names, so there's a privacy issue there. It would be nice if they'd let the members choose, but as a rule, you can't see any. And you can only do that on the premium version, which I get. They've got to have a premium option and a reason to have that, but you don't see their names unless they respond to you. And even then you only see a username, so it's not always that helpful. So in their efforts to protect the identity and data of other people on the platform, it just becomes a little bit of a murky, opaque process and contacting people isn't quite the exciting feeling as it might be on Family Search, where it's much clearer and more transparent. Although again, that obviously has data issues. So no perfect situation, but contacting people on Find My Past isn't great, I would have to say. Another thing, when you look at the scanned image of the archive document, whatever you've done on there, when you press the back button, it often jumps back a few screens and that can get really confusing because if you're in a detailed search, you can really lose your place. And I've found that many times over. I don't know why it does it. It's a bit of a bug. I hope they can correct it soon. But I would recommend try using new tabs to open the documents, the images, especially if you think you might have to go back. Again, by the time you watch this, hopefully it will, will have been corrected. But I've been finding that a little bit frustrating so far. And another thing that you have to be aware of with Find My Past is it can be quite slow for complex tasks. So when you've got a search with lots of parameters, lots of fields and filters, that can be quite slow. But even more is when you go to merge a record and you found someone you think is an ancestor and you want to add those details onto your tree, the more into it you get, sometimes it can be very slow. And it might take, you know, even five minutes to do that. Most of the time, probably 90% of the time, it'll take a few seconds. And you see the green progress bar running across the top. But sometimes, and don't ask me why, it really chugs along and it's really frustrating. It takes a long time, but it will get there it's just a little quirk of the system. And with that said, it's probably worth rounding up. Find My Past is improving all the time. They've got a really solid development team and core group of staff working on it. And I'm going to do more videos on it because it's been the best one I've found so far. And if you want to try the free version of Find My Past, check it out using the link below this video to help support this channel. And I'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.